your point is an elephant. Welcome to part two of uh, the golf panel show. We're discussing about Kimboys, runaways, domestic workers who run away from their sponsors in the Middle East. And today I have a very, very interesting story. And this time around, I spoke to a Kimboy. Guys, press play. Just keep on listening. This is nuts. Your point is an elephant. Hi, Mimi. My name is Kenya. I'm from Saudi and I came boy. Not not more than six months. And the reason why I want to talk about this Kemboy is because um, um, nobody comes from Kenya with the mentality of Kukuja Ko risk my share what especially me i came to look with an intention of looking for money and that's it uh, but uh, the reason the biggest uh, problem here is ukiongea na wale watu ma agent wako kenya kama huyo sijui wangari mudhama anaongea vizuri yeye anaongea whatever is in the papers but guess what that, that is not what happens here Mwarabu amelipa more than 20,000 real kukuto wa Kenya. Ukifika hapa anaona sasa pesa yake maadilienda. Si umefika. Hizo karatasi akakozibala. That's the bin. He don't want to know what was written there. Alishapata whatever he wanted. You know? You see? Sasa wewe, for example mimi. Kuna hii kampuni inaitwa Mahara. Mahara Human Resource inaleta wasichana yani house girls from Kenya wanawaleta huko Saudi Arabia na koko ofisi then mkisha um, koko ofisi mnakuja ni kama watu mnarentiwa ni kama watu wa kukondeshwa unaona na ni made for hire unachukuliwa na Mwarabu anakuja pale Mahara analipa 3000 reals uende ufanye na yeye kazi mwezi mmoja kila mwezi 3000 reals yako wewe uende ufanye na siwe analipa analipa kampuni of which the companies pay you less than 1000 real you see the problem comes in here mwarabu anaumwa kwa ile pesa amelipishwa na kampuni yako na wewe kule unaumia kwa sababu kazi ni unaenda kufanya sometimes unapata we do work for over 22 hours mike I'm telling you from my experience. Yaani unapewa kazi na Mwarabu hawagopi kukwambia nililipa ofisi 1300. Hiyo 1300 yangu lazima ifanywe kazi. The next thing is hakupei chakula, hakupei hata nini. Kwa kulala ni shida. Hmm? Um unasikia umelipoa 950 reals. Naifiki ikiwa 950 juni management watakuwekea kwa account account yako. Yes wanaweka kila mwezi. Lakini eh, that is not enough kulingana na ile kazi unafanyishwa. Hmm? Kitu kingine Your point is an elephant. Kitu kingine ni hapa juu ya hiyo pesa mingi huyu huyu Mwarabu amelipa pale kwa kampuni. Eh anakuambia 
hiyo 3000 imetosha wewe ujinunulie chakula ujinunulie mavazi ya mavazi ya kufanya kazi huko kwake A to Z Mike niambie uko na watoto Kenya unalipo 950 tumia 400 huku hmm? ujinunulie chakula ujinunulie mavazi ujinunulie kila kitu tumia mia nne ya Saudi Arabia umebaki na 550 haya hiyo 550 unatumana nyumbani una watoto unasomesha eh hiyo sio shida hiyo ni kitu kingine inafanya watu watoroke jua kuna mtu alikuja hapa ku waste time we came here to work we we'll get our money and go back eh Mimi on my side whatever made me kemboy was this. Um I remember nilikutumia some information about the missing girl by name Janet. Janet aliletwa na Mahara the same with me. Eh uh, alafu Mahara anakuza kwa mtu mwingine. Sasa the problems comes in here. Akikuza kwa mtu mwingine, huyo mtu mwingine hata waiambia embassy ya Kenya ati alikununua hauko kwa mikono ya mahara hapana they don't ju mimi niliuliza your point is an elephant niliuliza vizuri wewe kwa sababu umeamua kuninunua kutoka kwa mahara na mmekubaliana utaenda kwa embassy yangu kusema umeninunua kaniambia hiyo tutaenda lakini alipopata dokumenti zangu kutoka kwa mahara Mike everything changed to hell Nikamwambia mimi ile kitu nataka sasa tufanye eh, I wish my embassy could know that I'm no longer a product of mahara I'm wendo kafiri wangu Yeye mzee aliniambia hiyo kitu ni soi mwambie if I want to live in peace nikanyamaza Miezi mitatu hakuna pesa hiyo miezi mitatu nilizungushwa kutoka Saudi Arabia nimepelekwa kazi city three different cities kufanya was sister ya madam eh, kazi a distance of eight hours from where we used to live eh, kutoka hapo nikarudishwa to our city where we used to live with madam then after that nikapelekwa hadi Jordan. Nilikuwa naenda kuuzwa Jordan. Na I overheard a phone conversation. Kusikia mimi nikapiga agent wangu wa Kenya. Na kwa sababu nilikuwa na namba ya Mahara and they, pl- they promised me if anything happens to you